Hi, I'm going to deploy a website with interplanetary file system using a free subdomain. First, I'm going to need a website and I'm going to be making a rune casting website. One key thing to do before building is to set the host name to the current directory. This ensures that React uses the correct URL for assets and pages when the site is deployed from a subdirectory. Now comes the time to look at interplanetary file system. The next thing is to start adding files. So. Interplanetary file system add test one. Now we can use other interplanetary file system commands. So interplanetary file system cat CID gives us the contents. And then if we wanted to serve a folder, interplanetary file system add test to is directory use the r flag so here's the cid of the directory and we can do interplanetary file system ls there we go and that's the cid of the file inside then we can do interplanetary file system cat cid gives us hello world again now in order to get other nodes in the network to um pick up on this data, we have to use another command, which is the pin command, pin objects to local storage. So then we can do interplanetary file system, pin add, and then interplanetary file system, pin ls, there we go. Then finally, to have your files replicated on other nodes, you are going to want to run the daemon. And your node will start announcing that it has some objects which are set to be pinned, and then other nodes will replicate that data. Now, when you rely on other interplanetary file system nodes to keep your files, you're basically hoping that another computer retains your data on their hard drive, which is why it's better to go to someone that has interplanetary file system as a service and create an account with them.
With your content uploaded, you will then be able to see it on the Interplanetary File System Explorer. And then you can visit a gateway and you see it loaded as a website. So the next thing to do is to get a free subdomain that we can then link to this content. So if we go to freedns.org, you can then look at the available subdomains and choose choose one that you like. On the Interplanetary File System website, there is a document that shows you how to link to content using DNS records. This here is how we create the link. We input the value in this format, so DNS link equals forward slash interplanetary file system forward slash and then you need your CID. Now unfortunately free DNS doesn't allow you to make individual text records like that. But what you can do is you can redirect to a URL which is acting as a gateway to the interplanetary file system content. So that's what I've got here, redirect to. So in conclusion, this is a good way to host a website in a distributed manner that is resistant to censorship. Uh, ideally, you would run your own interplanetary file system node, but that isn't an option for everyone. So this is a good free alternative.